hello loves welcome back to my channel this is hd signatures i'm sure you guys will be wondering what i'm doing today today is wednesday and um today is not one of my uploads day i just wanted to bring up something to share with you guys like you guys already know i upload on mondays and fridays so if you're just finding yourself on this channel i am a professional makeup artist because nigeria thank you so much for checking up on my channel and thank you so much for coming back for my videos i usually upload on mondays and fridays so if you want to hear more about what i'm talking about please keep on listening <laughs> So recently I got tagged on Instagram and when I got to find out what the tag was, I saw this this lady's picture, a bright makeup look. So I decided to bring it up to this platform to share with you guys just to hear what you guys views her huh? because apparently a lot of people blame the makeup artist and I beg to differ. If you look at it, everybody has equal equal blame. The bride herself is to blame the makeup artist the hairstylist, the photographer, the whoever that is around at that moment are. because like they say there's a two side to a coin this makeup was done on our, on our wedding day so and I went through comments because I'm one of those people that likes to look at posts and go through comments you know just to feed my eyes and all that so I went through the comments and I noticed that almost all the comments they blamed the makeup artist fine because this job was coming from a makeup artist definitely the the principal person you're going to be blaming is going to be a makeup artist but for me i like to most times i don't like to go with the crowd i like to look at a situation in different angle like what like they say there's a two sides to a coin you know because we are seeing the finished look and we see that is a makeup artist but we are forgotten where this makeup artist is being hired from we're forgotten where this bride got a makeup artist from it's not like we're in the world where we we are in a world where getting a makeup we are restricted to getting a makeup artist it's not like we're in that world but she still went ahead with all the professionals we have she still went ahead to choose this person to do a makeup on her big day so i was i was now wondering what the problem is for people to be blaming the makeup artist what you give is what you get and for she was looking for a budget friendly makeup artist and she got one so it's possible this kind of look might just be a choice because you will not tell me that all the why the makeup artist was applying this makeup on her she's not been able to look at mirror it's not i mean it doesn't really happen these days when you are working on a bride especially they like to see themselves how they look so guys, I want to hear what you guys thought. Huh? What are your views concerning these pictures? Because apparently the makeup artist is blamed for this look. Fine, the makeup artist should be blamed for this look. But let's also look at it from the other angle. What about the people that are involved when this, this makeup was going on? Like, what about the people like the photographers, the hairstylist, the chief bridesmaid? the um the the, the trends the brighter girls and all that where were they when such thing was going on because i don't believe she was left all alone with the makeup artist and no one was there even even if she was left all alone what about when the makeup was done is it that nobody saw it it was not like okay when she was the when she didn't like it at the end of the day she, she washed it off hello are you saying you didn't see this makeup while it was going on because please correct me if, I, if, if, if I'm wrong is she not seeing this makeup or didn't she see the makeup while it was it was going on on her face or was there nobody there to even like stop the makeup artist halfway like wow what are you doing it's not nice and all that or, and have the bride to look into a mirror so that she will see it had to go on with the makeup I don't even know because the thing is when things happen or when things are being brought to us on social media we tend to always want to blame blame a particular person forgetting that it takes two to tango a makeup artist and a client they must have struck a deal before she eventually say okay come over to do my makeup on that day so it's totally not the makeup artist fault because there, there are choices before she chose this particular one so guys i think we need to include 
trial section for brides so that you guys and at the end of the day if the makeup artist didn't make up to your expectation in terms of the makeup you can go ahead and just cancel your your contract with that person that's just it you go ahead and, and, can, and cancel it so honestly it's it's really it's really really painful when you, after the whole thing she washed it off i mean it doesn't make sense because this is what you were seeing and, and where did you get the makeup artist from that's another thing where did you get that from how much did you even pay for this kind of makeup look because i believe that professional a real professional makeup artist will not have this kind of makeup on you will not do this kind of makeup, makeup on you that's why as a bride step up your budget a bit so that you can be able to get the, the particular makeup artist you want because the thing is another thing i noticed is that we need to also talk about is i don't know about other country but here in nigeria makeup artists are often overlooked believing that whatever it is that we do is not that so much of a big deal whatever it is that we do is not permanent they will wash it off that's their saying and that's their belief because a bride will charge you less as a makeup artist and they want to pay more for cake want to pay more for jewelries and all that forgetting that without makeup on you all these things that i just mentioned will not even really will not will not even count because what then at the end of the way you take pictures come 10 years five years and all that what you get to be looking at is your face not your body not the gown not the hair not anything it's how you were looking in your face so i think we should try and like appreciate makeup artists more you understand and for makeup artists too i would like to advise you guys if your craft is not good don't try to post yourself as a makeup artist it's not necessary that you must you must start working after one or two months that you finish your training you know you just learn to learn the trade well you know you know very well when you're not doing something nice so don't bother posting yourself outside as a as okay, I'm a professional makeup artist it's not nice it's not okay at all you should always try to endeavor to have put some form of patience when we are learning some things to get it right before we now start showing to people that I'm certified and all that. The fact that you left to a makeup school for one, two more doesn't make you a professional makeup artist. You have to be patient, you have to assist, you have to work well, you have to understand your signature and everything that you know that will make you to be the best at your field. Understand that is when you can actually post yourself. You need to have all these experiences before you can post yourself out as a makeup artist. So, guys, it's really so sad that this picture has really gone viral. It's just like you're spreading out a newly wedded bride, which is really sad, honestly. So, I don't really know what would have cost it. I don't know where she got the makeup artist from. I don't know what transpired. I don't know how much she paid. You know, you because all these things are what we should we should put into consideration before we blame the makeup artist. Because what you give is what you get. You cannot. You can't you can tell me that when you pay some amount of money to a, makeup, to a professional makeup artist, you will end up looking like this. No, you can't. You can't look this way. You can never, never look this way. If you have paid a, a pro makeup artist, you won't end up looking this way. And also, I want to blame those people that are around this bride. The chief bridesmaid, the photographer, the hairstylist, and even the the trains the brighter trains and all that what were they doing when this blunder is being created or when this blunder was going on on this lady's face what were they doing? the at least the hairstylist would have seen it or even the photographer because they are the one that are meant to take the finished look of the picture of the, of the makeup they are meant to see the photographers that they are meant to you know to have a relationship between makeup artists so when they are taking pictures there are some places that probably the makeup is not blending well there and all that they want to whisper it in your ears and they oh you need to touch up this side you need to do this you need to do that so where was the photographer and even when the picture was being brought up if it was the photographer that addicted this it's actually a poor job because i i believe that there are some photographers that even when your makeup is not super nice there's a way they can go about editing it and make it look i mean at least a little bit nice a little bit nicer than what it is naturally so they are all to be blamed the bride herself the makeup artist the hairstylist because she was there why this was going except if the bride had already have her hair done before the makeup maybe she has done her hair the day before and there was no hairstylist there 
Talk about the photographers because actually photographers as photographers they are usually at the wedding. They are always there when the makeup artist is going when the makeup is going on. So where was the person when this was happening? So you can't tell me that after all this all makeup and all that she 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 cleaned it off. She washed off her face. Why would she wash off her face when she was seeing the process? So guys, this is just my own opinion. I'm not trying to throw a shade at it at anyone. I just want you guys to tell me what you think. I just want you guys to talk about it. what do you think? What's your own take about it? you guys opinion are really really going to be needed for this. So thank you so much guys for staying tuned and um please watch us for my friday uploads like i said earlier i upload on mondays and on fridays if you haven't subscribed to my channel please consider doing that and also click on the bell button to activate it thank you so much and i'll see you guys bye bye